Hello everybody, Mayo Doctor here. Just giving you a quick update before I actually start the video. There's a couple things I should have mentioned, or well, one thing I should have mentioned that I didn't, and one thing that I should mention that I forgot to do because I wasn't looking at my settings in the recording. The thing I should have brought up is I actually got this game through a download code from one of the developers. I did not agree to anything with money sponsorships or anything. I am not censoring myself in any way. The terms was just, I get a code if I LP the game. That's it. Which, honestly, the second I saw it, I was going to do an LP anyway, so... Mm, just figured that I should be fully ethical and bring that up to everyone. That's the thing that I should bring up that I just didn't notice till I finished recording. This game does not actually run 30 FPS, it runs 60 FPS. I was just being dumb. I wasn't looking at my recording settings, because there was still leftover from when I was doing Gravity Rush 2 videos. So, oops. I'll have it fixed for later parts, but for now, you're going to have to do 30 FPS videos. Sorry. Hello everybody, Mayoder here, and I am doing something different. Yeah, I did not see myself doing an indie game right now, but here I am. Basically, I just need something to fill out the space of what I was going to be doing. Since, you know, I had two five-hour impressions videos coming out back to back. <laughs> it's, it's not easy making those. Anyway, this is Power Hover. A low-poly hoverboard game with robots. There will be a Steam download page in the description. I don't think I need to tell you anything other than that. I will say that you should probably go to the play tutorial thing, since there is a brief thing just telling you how it works. If you've played a racing game before, you probably have a rough idea of how it works, especially a hoverboarding game. But... Eh. No, I haven't actually hit the continue button yet, so this will just be from the raw beginning. As previous stage first. Huh? Oh. I must hit right without realizing it. Alright. The thief has dropped some batteries. Follow the trail. Collect the energy. Okay. Now this looks like I'll need a jump button, but there's no jump here. The this is one of the most simple games I've seen in terms of control schemes. There are two buttons. Left and right. And it's... that's it. <laughs> the, the enter button works too for your keyboard when you need to select something on the main menu, but... That's about it. Other than that, it's about as simple as a simple does, and... You know what, after all the stuff I've had to deal with lately, that's deeply appreciated. Now, this game is actually supposed to have a whole 35 stages, and I don't know how far into this I'm gonna get. I might go through all 35. Mm -mm. This might be one of those games that locks away some of its stages in challenge mode, though, in which case I probably won't do them all, but... It's all here. Whoa. Okay. There we go! Awesome job! Yeah, yeah. Uh, the tutorial also had a brief thing on story at the end, but basically what happened is somebody stole all the power from their village and they're trying to get it back, so... The reason that there's such an emphasis on battery is because they're trying to get all the power back. Hmm, what do all these do? I'm guessing that's a stats menu or something, right? Oh, is this a replay? Oh! <laughs> the, they're telling the whole cutscene again. The, yeah, this is the one I got at the end of this tutorial. Okay, well... You, what do you need me for? And the, yeah, then we get this again. Okay. Wait, do I have to go to that stage again? No. Okay, good. Because they had the logo show up and say, like, wait a minute, do I have to? That'd be... That'd be kind of scary if I did. What's this? Upgrades? Well, let's see what we can get. Oh, it's just a sign? Hmm. 
Okay. I don't know what that sign did. Oh, grind rails. Okay. I'm ready. Let's do this. And I've already missed the battery. I am not good at controlling those grind rails. Okay. Oh boy. This life system is going to be the bane of me by the end of this. Okay, something about this game is the grind rail segments, which is the thing. It seems that it's really weird sensitivity that I'm just not used to, and it's throwing me off. <laughs> it's throwing me off hard. Still, <sighs> damn. Oh boy. Okay, that must be the reset button. Yeah. Okay. And I missed another battery. Okay. Gonna do this. I wonder if one of those upgrades is, I guess, more of those hearts. It probably is. Unless it's something like collect 100 batteries. I wonder when the actual racing bit begins. Because this isn't really a racing game. It's racing format, but you're not racing anything. You're not even really racing a clock. So, is that the challenge mode? Is that where that comes in? I uh, can't get batteries! I'm probably gonna wind up ending it around, I'm gonna say 26. Let's guess off the top of my head. Maybe more? Oh no, no! Stop! I can't control the grind rails! Okay, 28. Well, I won't complain about being wrong in my favor. Oh, you don't even need to get them all. Well, okay, let's go on to the next stage. How long have we been going? Six minutes? Oh yeah, we can definitely do more. Hmm. Oh. Different camera angle this time. Okay. How many batteries there? Just 20? I'm sure I'm going to be uh, regretting saying that very soon. But hey, the last age had 34, so... 20 is a nice, relaxing change of face compared to that, you know what I mean? Hmm. Well, too far. Oh, okay. Now I see. That's how you get your extra continues. They just scatter them across stages. I wonder how that was just for this one stage. Is it continues for stages, or does it reset when you begin a new stage? Considering that it's a racing game of lives, I can't really assume. That the mold for lives is gonna hold true here. Hmm. How many did I get? 18? Not bad. Yeah, yeah! Let's go! Next! Oh, where are you? Okay. I saw what that one did. You get extra lives once in a while. Beep boop. There is the thief. We caught up with it. Watch out. It may have nasty surprises in that backpack. Beep boop. Hmm. So we actually are racing something. Wow, that thing is fast. Please drop something! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Does my suffering mean not- That is a mine. I had a sneaking suspicion, but I wasn't sure. Okay. Well. 
I don't know, I thought maybe it might be an energy container or something. Well, okay, this game uses mines. Nope, nope, not you. Why do I feel like the end game challenges against this thing could be really, really cruel? They just have a line of batteries and then at the very end of it they put a mine. Or even worse, they have some batteries and they put a mine and they put some more batteries right after it. If it isn't obvious, I'm gonna have some control issues. <laughs> so, I don't know how much of that I can really blame on the game. I think a lot of that's probably just me not being used to a control setup like this. But I will say it does feel really loose. Especially for the type of game it is. Ah! No! I'll see you in a sec. Okay, I'm back here. So. Oh, that's mean game. Don't do that to me. And I don't need the lives this time. I didn't die on the way here, but. Still. Got all the energies. I guess I probably. Yeah, I could have gone for that life, but. Syntax error. Max out. Ness. There, I was trying to get you. Yes! Nice work. Village total power is now over 500 kilowatts. Keep staggering things. Access the first boss stage. Already did. Thank you. Wait a minute. Oh, that wasn't the first boss stage, was it? Look down there. There's Looks like there's an electric gate there at the lower right hand corner. Well, I was going to end it there at the old road, but... Maybe we should keep going, see what that gate looks like. Okay, oh, racing you again. Well, racing is really top. Okay, let's go. Ready to be crushed. Woo! I am so scared of this stage. It's, if it's not clear yet, I don't have a strong grasp on these controls yet. And I really need to get a stronger grasp. Yeah, I've already missed a few batteries. Ah, uh, no. No, no, no. I have idea how sensitive these controls are. So that's the word I was looking for. Sensitive. <laughs> I really like this particular aspect of the game. It's felt underutilized so far, but... I think you can just shift gravity right away like that. I don't know, I think it's nice. 29 out of 32. Yeah! I got just enough. Six hundred. Next. What were you again? Oh, you're. Yes. I need that. I clearly need that. Hmm. It's you again. Forty-five. Oh boy. You son of a- Duh. I mean, uh, what a pretty thing that was there in the background. I wonder how much longer we're going to be here in the accessory area, because I did see a bit of the trailer. I know we don't stay here forever. Hmm. I didn't watch the whole thing. I mean, I was sold after like 10 seconds. Sold. I missed all those batteries! <sighs> I 
Alright, right. Oh, that looks so beautiful. So, I'm guessing it's an auto death if I just happen to be in the wrong spot there. Oh, thank you. Now, does that mean I don't get to use that anymore? Or. Will it come back for me again if I go to another stage? Because I think it's safe to assume that I'm not getting anything to spawn again here in this stage. That's. No more mines, thank you, thank you. Nope, not you. Come on, give me some batteries. I need some batteries, thank you. And for a low poly indie game, this actually does look really good. I, I, I know it's not particularly graphically intensive or anything. And if you really just look at the individual details, it's actually not that complex, but... I don't know, I think that's a charm. Uh, I don't have enough. Whatever. I have another stage of two out of three. I can still get you. Okay, let's do it. People, this is a boss stage. You need to survive at least 1,000 1, meters to advance to the next stage. Oh boy. Oh, there's a counter there in the upper left. Okay. Well, this theoretically won't be too bad. I'm already over halfway there. This theoretically won't be so bad, he says. And I actually have to go farther than that if I want all the goodies. I have to go 45 fun Oh boy. I wanna check something real quick. Once all these obstacles leave. Can I go I can't? Okay. I was just wondering if the gravity shifting applies here too, but it does not. And is the stage randomly generating? I think it is. Because I had all that debris the last time I was here. Hmm. Oh, it's different every time. That's, uh... Honestly, that's a little worrying. Because it means I can't learn from my mistakes. There, I hit a thousand. I'm safe. But I'll keep going. I want to see if I can hit that 4500 mark, but... It's worrying, for sure. Nope! Hmm. Well... You know what? I'm gonna try again. I wanna s I wanna see just how high I can go. Oh no, you! The bane of my existence. Well, one of the banes. The other bane would probably be those grind rails and jumping between them. Oh, that's awful. So sticky. Especially in a game like this where you're rapidly just tapping the key instead of holding it. Just... I don't really know how they could make that intuitive to be fair, but... I don't know. It's not intuitive for me. Gotta keep going. Gotta get the 4500. If I have to do this on a live stream or something, I will. Though I kind of doubt that'll happen. This game doesn't seem like it'll be terribly long. It's just a fun little thing I'm doing to pass time. Because quite frankly, the Crisis Core parts would take forever to come out. If I wanted to do one of them, because they are way more edit heavy than anything else I do. Well, not getting the 5 hour impression videos that I brought up before. 
And the camera! The camera! Ah. Let's keep going. <laughs> this game. I had noticed it before, but I didn't want to bring anything up. But yeah, the camera's shifting. They're probably laughing at this. Ugh. Yes. What a great idea, having your camera shift 90 degrees very, very slowly. Thankfully the controls stay the same. Left is still left and right is still right, but... Doesn't make it any less worrying. Yep, here comes the camera shift. Oh boy. Oh yay! Okay, past the 2000 mark. It's good, let's keep going. You can uh, maybe make it to the 3000 mark? Or am I expecting too much? What are you? Oh, it slows time to Oh, that's handy. No! Oh, I thought that was gonna vanish. Ah! I didn't make it through a thousand. Ah. I am going to do this. But I'm too determined. <laughs> All right, let's go. Whoa, 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 oh, that wasn't there before. It feels like this might be getting slightly harder every time I do it. At the beginning, I mean. Which, I can dig the idea behind that. It's, I kind of wish that there was at least an, a difficulty option for that kind of thing, but kind of sounds like the reverse of what say, the old Crash and Spyro games did on PS1. They had automatic difficulty settings that would kick in if you died too much. If this is a thing. I mean, I could just be imagining it, but... Oh, right. The camera's shifting. Right. Of course. Why would I want a normal functioning camera? Okay, we're at 20... Yeah, we're 2300. Uh... Do I get another timer object? Doesn't look like it. At least not yet. Hmm. Oh, made it to 3000! Oh, and there's a timer object. Yeah, made it! Ah, uh, great. No, no, not you, not you! Okay, we're 30, 38, 39, 40, okay. Oh, uh, oh, oh, more. Yeah, that's nice. Go up. Okay, good. Good. Yes! I did it! I'm gonna keep going. I wanna see how far I can go. And I've already made it this far, right? Let's keep going, keep going, go in! Up. There we go. And up! No, not the camera shifting, please, anything but that, no! Alright. I wonder what happens if I go all the way through, is it just like a max out or something? Oh, okay.
Well, did it. I'll, uh, I'll see you all next time when I go through this next segment. So, till then, thank you all for watching, and hope you all have a fabulous day. If this game looks interesting to you at all, again, I left a link to, to the Steam page in the description below, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!